Hi guys, it's Be Balanced Ruth. It's day 167 of my 365 Live. I've already done a video this morning and I'm not going to cry on this one. I was a bit emotional on the other one, so I hope you've all watched it and liked it. I'm here today with another recipe. Hi Colleen, my lovely friend. How are you doing? I can't wait for you to come over here when all this is over. Um, I'm going to make some chocolate and coconut truffles this morning. Yay, you're going to say something to me. Um, and it's really, really super easy. I'm going to show you how to do it and then you can make them for all your uh, family that you're locked down with or your, and your friends when all this is over. But they really are easy. You don't need many ingredients. So again, you should have all the ingredients either at home or you'll be able to get them from a supermarket at the moment. They're not unusual. You don't have to send off for them. So I'm going to put the recipe like I did yesterday with the um, banana loaf, which I hope you've all had to go at. I know some people have. I'm going to put the recipe underneath. So you don't need to worry about, sorry, I've just been eating coconut. So you don't need to worry about the quantities. So in my pan here, my um, Thermomix pan, I have some, I, the recipe actually called for dates and I used to use a lot of dates and dates are amazing. I used dates in my recipe um, the other day. Um, but this is actually, I'm putting prunes in actually because I've got more prunes available. Prunes have less sugar than dates. Uh, they taste a bit more dark, a bit more like molasses. Hi Ian, nice to see you. But they make really good truffles because they're very moist. So I've already whizzed them up. So you whiz them up until they're soft and paste-like. That's a handful of prunes. I will put the actual amount underneath. And then we're gonna put three tablespoons of cacao. I use raw cacao powder, who've we got on? Hi Michelle. Three tablespoons of raw cacao powder. You can just use cocoa powder if you've got cocoa powder in your cupboard. What are you saying, Colleen? So good, making banana loaf today. Fabulous! Made the dates, they turned out fantastic. Hi, Claire. Brilliant. Oh, I'm lo I love that you try the dates. Okay, so we've got cacao powder in there as well with my lovely spoons. I so love these spoons. And a little bit of vanilla. I always put vanilla in everything because it gives it such a lovely flavour. And then we need some coconut oil is going to go in there as well. And I'm using the same spoon from the cacao powder. So that's going to be dirty coconut oil, but not to worry. Pop that into there with the prunes as well. And then we have a little, I've actually got date syrup here. Um, you can use maple if you have maple in your home. It's probably going to be around more than date syrup. You need your own cooking show. I would love my own cooking show. Absolutely love it. And I'm just going to put a splash of that in there. So we're going to give it a whiz up. So bear with me while I just nip back here to the thermomix and whiz this up. And I'm going to show you what to do next. This is so, so easy, guys. Really nice. You pop them in the fridge afterwards and you can serve them after dinner or just have them as a little treat during the day. So I'll just be a couple of seconds. Back with you in a minute. You can hear how hard it has to work to churn up the prunes. I was telling a client about how wonderful the Thermomix is yesterday. She was asking me about it. And um, there is a lady on, I got my Thermomix from a lady called Samantha Croom, if you're local to Weatherby. She's amazing, she's in Harrogate, and she does lots and lots of recipes on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Who else have we got here? Russ, hi, nice to see you. So what this has done now, oh my goodness, look at that. It's made like a real, can you see a chocolatey paste? You know, I think that looks lovely or revolting. It actually looks, looks and smells lovely from where I am. So it's a real chocolatey paste. It's quite shiny because of the coconut oil. You're gonna take a little tiny bit and roll it into a ball. And this is where the coconut comes in. So I've got some desiccated coconut. It was coconut flakes, but my Thermomix has managed to make it into desiccated now because it's that good. I'm gonna sprinkle some onto my slate, my piece of slate I'm using like I was yesterday or the day before for the dates. And then you're literally going to roll them you can toast the coconut. I actually normally toast it, but I haven't toasted it today, so I'm gonna show you. Looks like a little snowball, see? How wonderful is that gonna be? So I'm gonna make another couple just to show you. So you take the paste from the Thermomix or whatever you're, you do need a, a food processor for this because the prunes are quite difficult because they've got such a lot of fiber in. They don't break down that easily. 
and then roll it into a ball. Hi Heather, nice to see you. And then you're just gonna roll it in the coconut. So that's it. I mean, how simple is that for a recipe? There you go. Coconut prune truffles, chocolate truffles. There you go. So that was a real quick one today. Have a go at those. And hi Pearl, nice to see you. I've just finished, I'm just making chocolate coconut truffles look. There you go. They're absolutely amazing. And Colleen's suggesting I have my own cookery show, so we'll have to get that one sorted. Hi Thalia, nice to see you too. Yeah, Claire, they honestly, you can make those in literally two minutes if you've got all the ingredients. I've just realized actually I had an ingredient that I didn't put in. You're supposed to put some milk in, but they didn't need them at all. They made a lovely paste without. So I'm gonna pop those in the fridge and I'm gonna eat them in about half an hour's time when they've gone really nice and cold. And they'll go so well with a cup of peppermint tea, which is my favorite. So take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day and I'll be back tomorrow with something else. If you want to tell me what you'd like, please post below. What would you like me to make? Sweet, savoury, drinks, whatever. I'm up for doing something every morning to keep us all, all our energies up high in this challenging time. Hi, Neil. Nice to see you, lovely. We're making chocolate truffles, look. There you go, chocolate coconut truffles. I'm gonna pop them in the fridge so I can have them with my tea later on. Okay, guys, so I've been B Balance Ruth. It's day 166 of my 365 Live. Hi, Karen, you're just coming in at the end. So if you can watch the replay, that would be fab. Really nice to see you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.